Hey, and welcome again to Ancient Ways for Modern Days. Hope you're having a wonderful day as you tune in, and we, we have a great text for you today. This text is a text that reminds us the Christian life is one that, that we come to Christ. We come to Him broken. We come to Him wretched, sinful, selfish, lustful, arrogant, full of pride and, and, and greed and laziness, all of these things. We come to Him, and He saves us by grace through faith, And here's what today's text reminds us of. He changes us. He calls us to live a different life. When you are in Christ, you are called to be transformed. You are not to remain the same. I think this is important because sometimes in our world today, we forget this. We think that we as believers could be just like the rest of the world and act just like them. And and everything is perfectly fine. That is not, that is not the picture the scripture gives for believers. Let me show you this one simple verse. It says, but God's firm foundation stands. This is in contrast with those who are false teachers who are disturbing the faith of some. Listen, God's firm foundation stands. Bearing this seal, the Lord knows those who are his and let everyone who names the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. Here's what the scripture teaches very clearly. This is the the firm foundation, which is the gospel, this truth that Jesus has died and rose again. It says, the Lord knows those who have really done that. The Lord knows those who have not only confessed, but they have actually believed in their heart. The Lord knows. And then externally, what does it look like? Well, if you are one who names the name of the Lord, you depart from iniquity. Your life is transformed. You do not say that I trust in Jesus and I live exactly the same kind of life that I lived before Christ, that I live exactly like my my neighbors who do not trust Jesus. I believe everything else that they believe except I believe in Jesus also. No, let everyone who names the name of the Lord depart, exit from, leave, outright go away from. Leave what? Iniquity to leave sin, to leave a sinful lifestyle, to leave an approving lifestyle of sin, to leave an, leave an accepting lifestyle of sin. Now, this does not mean that you never sin again. I, I wish that was the case. But it means when we identify sin in our lives, we're humble before the Lord. We don't, we don't justify it. We don't rationalize it. We don't make excuses and say, my sin is okay. I'm, I'm allowed to have this pet sin because God's grace is good for me. No, we, we leave it. We begin to hate our sin. We begin to despise it. Even when we sin, we, we have a response. It's like, Lord, I hate this and I'm sorry. And we turn back toward him. We flee from our sin. We depart from it. Because we have trusted in Christ. Because his spirit now dwells in us and is transforming us. And so our ancient way for our modern day is a, it is a call to trust the Lord. It's called to trust the Lord in your life. In every aspect of it. Today, I, I would ask that this might be a gentle reminder to you to go before the Lord in repentance. Is there anything in your life that you that you are currently engaging in that you know is out of bounds? Is there anything in your life in your belief system that you are allowing for yourself or others that you know is inappropriate and it is sin, it is transgression, it is iniquity? If you have anything like that, will today be the day that you depart from it? Maybe that looks like taking some time to fall before the Lord in prayer. Maybe reading through Psalm 51, praying, begging the Lord to create in you a clean heart. Maybe it means calling your pastor or a trusted believer in your life and saying, listen, I I have some things I need to share. And you go to them and you just say, transparently, here is the sin that I'm departing from. I, I pray that you have someone in your life when they share that, when you share that with them, they'll simply say, there's only grace here, bud. Let's sort through this and let's walk together as you strive for holiness. Because here's the deal. If you are in Christ, if you name the name of the Lord, you are called 
to depart from iniquity. And this is our ancient way for our modern day.